so in this lecture we will discuss a few numericals related to nodal analysis in the first numerical we have a circuit in which we have all the current sources we do not have any voltage source and then we have to calculate the current through every resistance that is connected in the circuit using nodal analysis so as far as nodal analysis is concerned so in nodal analysis the first thing that we do is to identify the you know nodes basically so there are three principal nodes or we can say three junction this one this one and then this is this one so this we are considering as the reference node and it did, it is at zero volt basically so this is assumed to be at zero volt and this is let us say the node one and node two basically and the voltage here is let us say v1 and v2 this is what we have assumed okay we do not know what is the voltage at these nodes but we can yes assume the voltage is here okay so now we will apply nodal analysis here so to apply nodal analysis uh, what we do is we apply kcl on every uh, junction um, independent junction in fact okay so let us apply the kcl here so we will assume some current is flowing in these branches and these are the directions of the current so okay so let us say this is current i1 and this is current let us say i2 this is let us say uh, here it is i3 in 5 ohm resistance this is i4 and this is let us say i5 so the first thing is identify number of junction then mark those junctions assume certain voltage at every junction then uh, take some current on every junction you can take any direction of the current okay you can take any direction of the current that is up to you right then uh, give some notation to those currents let us say i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 whatever right okay so now we'll apply kcl now apply kcl at junction one now what is the kcl equation at junction one incoming current is equal to outgoing current right so this is what kcl state basically so sum of all incoming current is equal to sum of all outgoing currents right so this is i1 is equal to i2 plus i3 so this is let us equation number one now what we will do we know that i1 is equal to 3 ampere and i2 is equal to uh, the voltage at that junction divided by the resistance of that branch i2 is flowing here right so this is i2 so it is uh, you know this v1 this voltage divided by the resistance because this point is at zero volt here right okay it is at zero volt these two points so all these points are at same potential right so they are at same potential now okay so uh, i2 is this and then i3 is equal to what is i3 so i3 is flowing from junction 1 to junction 2 so it is flowing like this junction 1 to junction 2 so that is why junction 1 is assumed to be at the uh, highest uh, potential and junction 2 is assumed to be at the lowest low potential basically so it is v1 minus v2 divided by the resistance that is 5 ohm right so now what we do we will substitute all these values in this equation we get uh, 3 is equal to v1 by 2 uh, plus v1 minus v2 by 5 okay so we'll simplify this equation so on simplifying we'll get uh, like so v15 plus 2 v1 minus 2 v2 is equal to 30 right so uh, this will give us 7 v1 minus 2 v2 is equal to 30 so this is one algebraic equation with us this is let us equation number two now similarly we can apply the kcl at junction two so now let us apply okay so now we will apply kcl at junction two now what will be the kcl equation at junction two let us see so the kcl equation at junction two is the kcl equation at junction two is 
uh, incoming current is I3 and outgoing currents are I4 and R5. So it is I3 is equal to I4 plus I5, right? So I3 is same here. So it is same, right? Now I4 is equal to, so I'll write it here, okay? So, so let us... No. So I4 is equal to V2 because I4 is flowing in which branch? Let us see. I4 is flowing in this branch here. Okay, this is I4 is flowing like this. So I4 is flowing from junction 2 to the reference junction. So it will be V2 minus, sorry, V2 divided by the resistance that is 1 ohm. And similarly, I5 is now let us see what is I5. So I5 is, you can see it is, uh, you know, two ampere basically and the direction which you have assumed and the direction of the current source is same. Okay, so we'll take it as positive two, right? Okay. Now, so this is your two ampere. Now we can substitute these equations in this letter for this is equation number three. So uh, the equation three can be written as so it is V1 minus V2 divided by five is equal to so I4 is V2 by one plus I5 is two. So we can simplify this equation. We'll get V1 minus V2 is equal to 5 V2 plus 10. So we'll take it here. So it will give us V1 minus 6 V2 is equal to 10. Right? So this is let us equation number 4. Now we have two equations with, this, with equation uh, 2 uh, this equation and this equation, these two equations. So we can solve these two equations to get the answer is 7v1 minus 2v2 is equal to 30. So it is v1 minus 6v2 is equal to 10. So on solving this, we get v2 is equal to minus 1 volt and v1 is equal to 4 volt. So this is the answer. Okay. So now the question was that we have to find out the current to each resistance, right? We have to find out the current to each resistance. So in that case, the current to each resistance can be calculated by using the values of the node voltages, right? So uh, let us calculate that value. Now, to calculate the current, through each resistance, we will use the values of node voltages as obtained, right? So these values are now we know that, so we'll take, okay, now we know that I2 is equal to V1 by 2. So V1 is uh, 4 by 2. So I2 is equal to 2 ampere. And I3 is equal to V1 minus V2 by 5. It is 4 minus minus 1 because V2 is minus 1. So it is 5, so I3 is equal to 1 ampere, right? And then I4 is equal to V2 by 1, NP, minus 1 by 1. So I4 is equal to minus 1 ampere. So we can write, hence, the parameters obtained are V1 is equal to 2 volt, V2 is equal to minus 1 volt, I2 is equal to your 2 ampere, 
So I V1 and V2 are these, and then I2 is 2 ampere, I3 is 1 ampere, and I4 is minus 1 ampere. So the negative sign, as we all know, the negative sign only indicates the actual direction of flow of current. Okay. So what does it mean? It means that actually your I4 is not flowing in the direction which you have assumed. So actually the current is flowing in the direction opposite to what you have assumed. So that means actually this current, sorry. So actually this I4 current is flowing uh, towards junction two. So it is actually flowing towards junction, not away from the junction. So this is what it means, right? So this is how we can solve uh, uh, an electrical network which has all the current sources but no uh, voltage source, right? So uh, now this was the special case basically. Now in our next uh, video, we will discuss that how to solve a network in which we have a super uh, node basically. Now what is super node that also we will discuss. And 